Today, I'll show you how to create a photorealistic snow material using substrate materials in Unreal Engine 5. Let's start with a blank material. First, delete everything and place a substrate slab. Using Megascan's bridge, I've downloaded a snow texture that looks great. I'll select all the textures and drag them into the material editor. Next, I'll hook up the albedo texture by plugging it into the diffuse albedo pin. For the F0 node, I'll use a substrate IOR to F0 function and connect a scalar parameter. Snow's index of refraction is around 1.3, so we'll set it to that. I'll use a constant roughness and set it to 0.9. Finally, I'll drag in the normal map to get a clear idea of how our material looks. I prefer using the map preview mesh that comes with the engine to preview my materials, so I'll add it to the scene and apply my material. It doesn't look like snow yet. It resembles stucco or plaster. We're missing key lighting features that make snow look realistic. Fresh snow scatters light before it's fully absorbed, a property we can model using the SSS mean free path pin. I'll use a vector parameter for this pin and a scalar parameter for the mean free path scale, allowing adjustments. The parameter color represents the color light shifts to as it passes through the snow. I've chosen a light blue, reminiscent of snow, though it's been a while since I've seen any here in Texas. Notice how it softens the normal map, giving a softer look. Snow is essentially water crystals, which have micro facets that sparkle. Substrate models this with glints. I'll set a glint density of 1.0, and for glint UVs, I'll use a regular UV node multiplied by 5 to achieve the desired glint scale. After compiling, you should have a convincing snow material. Moving the sunlight highlights the specular glinting. Adjusting the roughness changes the glint's focus around the specular lobe. To elevate this further, I'll use nanite displacement. Testing on a basic editor plane, ensure nanite is enabled for your mesh. Modify your project's console variables.ini file to allow nanite displacement, as it's an experimental feature. In the material properties under the nanite section, enable tessellation to access the displacement pin. The blue channel of the snow mask's texture holds the displacement. I'll use a remap value range node to adjust the displacement levels closer to the 0 minus 1 range. This step is optional, depending on your snow texture. Multiply the result by a master displacement amount parameter and pass it into a named reroute node called displacement. Then plug it into the displacement pin. I'll set up a simple expression to scale the normal map intensity according to my displacement parameter. I used a value of 4 matching the nanite setting's magnitude. This example may not be entirely accurate, but serves its purpose. After the shader compiles, fine-tune the remap parameters based on your displacement map. I'll duplicate the plane to get a better preview. Look at that. The subsurface scattering combined with the glints really sells it. Let's check it out in a darker environment with point lights. This looks fantastic. Epic is doing an excellent job with these new material features. I can't wait for them to be production ready. Let me know in the comments what other types of materials you'd like to see. Thanks for watching.